Uh, thank you, uh, and it's indeed a pleasure to come here and share my thoughts on this uh, subject here. And I'm grateful for the invitation. Uh, how do you move it down? You move it down by this one. Okay. So 3D uh, wiring in CPO intervention. This is a new concept actually. So what is 3D wiring? It is the ability to direct a CTO wire to a target. The target is the distal cap or the distal landing zone using one's bearings in 3D space in relation to the target. So how did it all start? The concept was first described by the Okamura group in 2015 uh, in an experimental model. Then they published some uh, clinical translation in 2019. And basically what they did was use a mental 3D image reconstruction of the wire location in relation to the distal vessel landing zone using rotational and geography but the technique somehow was if you go through the papers was not well explained and that's the reason probably no clinical translation into the interventional community at large really happened and then in 2020 of late uh, there is uh, something else that has been published on the 3d wiring concept in which you can locate the wire tip location and the tip direction because it depends on the wire location the wire location is there and the tip is pointing up, you have to come down 180 degrees to get into this room. So uh, <clears throat> they used the IVAS, which is uh, something called the ant owl IVAS, which is forward looking and using the above information. Again, in an experimental model, they showed that you could probably enter uh, having your locations. So, but the limitations as of today, as you can understand, this is rather difficult to understand as published, maybe because it's not as well explained. And also a forward-looking IVAS is still experimental. No clinical translation of the concept into the interventional community at large has truly, has truly happened. And all publications are limited to a single working group. So what we did, uh, this is our publication in the JSCC of late in 2021, uh, 3D wiring, cracking the code. So basically the concept is same, but we are trying to crack the code as to make it more easier. What have we done? Using the locations of the wire shaft and the tip direction in two orthogonal planes, using biplane and Joe in initially, in the subintimal plane at the distal cap landing zone, you identify the true locations and tip directions in 3D space. And then we worked out, rather than making a mental picture, an algorithm, because there are 64 combinations, I'll explain it to you, that are possible. So we worked out all 64 combinations, and you can follow that and redirect your wire and probably enter into the true lumen and uh, given the minimal tip rotation required so that you uh, to get perpendicular to the true lumen so that you don't increase the sub intimal space either so this is much simpler to understand and easy to use technique as i'll just show you so now if you understand and imagine the true lumen inside do i have a pointer here i don't know uh, so you have the true lumen uh, and the wire shaft could be either anterior to it, posterior, left or right or a combination. So you have eight theoretical locations and similarly the wire tip on that eight locations could be independent eight locations, anterior, posterior, left, right, whatever. So making this eight into eight makes it 64 combinations and if you understand an understanding of the CTO tract is there and the distal target and distal cap. These are the prerequisites. You need to have that. You need a dedicated CTO wire with a strong penetration power and one is to one torque control, which we have in wires like the Gaia wires today. And a controlled directional rotation so as to avoid increasing the subintimal space. You can really work out which direction to go and enter. So working on the fundamental radiological principles of orthogonal viewing, as we understand, if in a LAO view there's something that is looking in front, which is in front, it could be either anterior or on the left. If it is back, it could be either posterior or on the right. And similarly in RAO, the opposite. And when it is looking end on in one of the views, end on means it's overlapping our target, then it could be either left or right post left anterior or right posterior if it is so in LAO. In RAO, similarly, it could be either right anterior 
or left posterior because it fall in line of that LAO view. So combining the two views only you can make out where exactly it is lying. So working out the true wire locations or the tip directions in 3D space as derived using the principles of orthogonal viewing, just for an example, if in LAO view it looks it's anterior, in RAO also it is anterior to the target, then the wire probably or whatever that object is, is truly anterior. Similarly, if it's anterior in LAO, posterior in RAO, then it is true right and so on. Now, this is again this uh, conceptual picture. So, you have the true lumen, you have the wire which is left and posterior here. And, uh, sorry, and the wire tip is right and posterior as you, see. the wire tip is right and posterior, then probably you need to rotate about 90 degrees clockwise and you will get perpendicular to the true lumen and you will be able to enter. So, so we worked out these tables, uh, say for example, if the wire location is true anterior, the wire tip direction is true anterior also, then what you need is to get true posterior and how you can get is by 180 degrees clock or counter clock rotation and how it will look in that is in LAO it will look, the tip will look going behind and in RAO also it will look going behind and then you can have this the same wire location with different tip direction and with different wire locations, the eight of them. So these are the four tables, so nothing, uh, so if you have these, you can work it out. So just to show you a couple of examples, case one, now this is a biplane angio of 3D analysis to redirect the wire into the true lumen. So this is a CTO of the LED as you see, this is a Gaia wire which is, and we are not really getting into the true lumen and if you see this in close uh, uh, the wire location it is overlapped in the first view RAO it seems overlapped onto the distal shadow and in the and the tip direction is posterior uh, and in the LAO it looks anterior to the target and the tip direction looks rather straight. So combining these two with the wire shaft in 3D looking in LAO anterior in RAO overlap, it is truly right and anterior in space and the wire tip direction in LAO looking end on and RAO looking posterior is truly right and posterior and with that wire location anterior and right and tip posterior and right, probably you need 90 degrees counterclock rotation to get in and in which case when you rotate the wire tip 90 degrees, in LAO it will look posterior and in RAO it will look end on. And this is exactly what we did, redirecting the wire as per 3D guidance and in the still frames you see in RAO it is getting end on in LAO looking slightly anterior and the wire is in. And then you make further progress and then finally you can complete the case. Uh, one more case, uh, this is a CTO of the LAD from the Ostium. So we have that, so we have somehow entered, punctured the osteum and got in and now the wire is in the diagonal. Uh, this we have done initial balloon dilatation and the LED patency has been got in. Now we want to enter the LED through that LED diagonal bifurcation. Now attempt to enter the LED using a crusade, what it does is the wire at this point gets subintimal and as you see in the RAO view it looks almost on the shadow and in the LAO view it looks behind the distal LED shadow. So it's certainly posterior though. So we changed to 3D wiring concept and this is the enlarged frame of the same thing. So in RAO it looks 
it looks end on uh, the wire shaft and in the tip looks posterior as you see in the in the uh, enlarged view and the still frame showing the shaft location in two orthogonal views in LAO view the wire shaft is posterior and the tip direction is almost end on you do not see it either in front or back it looks straight. So, combining these in the similar fashion as we did earlier. So, with the, the wire shaft posterior and behind in LAO and overlapped in RAO it is probably left true left and posterior in 3D space and the wire tip similarly looking end on in LAO and RAO it looks looking posterior it is probably right and posterior truly. So, combining the wire location posterior and left and the wire tip direction posterior and right you would probably again need to rotate it 90 degrees and clockwise and you will see it in LAO anterior the tip and in RAO end on. And uh, so now this is a live fluoro as you see for that and the penetration has been done with wire tip looking end on in RAO and anterior in LAO and with a Gaia 1 wire and we have penetrated correctly and it is confirmed in the very next angular. And then further wire progress can be done and then you change the wire to workhorse and you can get a final result. So, what I wanted to show was the concept of 3D spatial location of the wire shaft and the wire tip direction in relation to the distal cap in 3D space helps in redirecting maneuverable and penetrating wires into the distal cap or the distal true lumen. Thank you.